Hello and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup and it's the 0 0.16 tournament um, this Minotaur fighter is doing very well and it's time for some real extended endgame stuff <clears throat> and well Last time we did kind of learn a spell, so at some point I'll do... <laughs> the aptitudes are horrible, but we should get a couple of levels. Should be enough to get at least Blink castable, I think. Could also do parts of Zot 5, but... I think I'm going to do what I said last time, which is to <clears throat> abandon Okavaru and deal with his wrath and worship the shining one let's grab... no, nah, I don't know there's so much stuff okay, let's... we're not gonna need this the shining one will give us lots of resistant negative, so we might even not need this cloak anymore at some point mm -hmm really need the ring of poison resistance when we have this, do we? Nah. Mm. The beef jerky. Yes. Well, let's eat the beef jerky. Let's get some javelins since we have trained the throwing skill. Um, okay. Monster nearby. Oh, I'm feeling sick. Okay. I'll stick to the mutiny cloak. Um. Found cure mutation. Hmm. Okay. Shining. Yeah, yeah whatever. Oh, we're going in here. <clears throat> Okay, are we ready for this? Um, it might be a mistake. No, I could just go and win right now. But, like I've said, I do want to try some extended endgame with this strategy. Gore does not appreciate this. <laughs> That's fine. That's the way it goes. Um, and now we are going to the crypt. Oh, yes. Go. 
Hmm. Javelins are working well. Here we are. <clears throat> An ancient champion. Ooh. Could have some nasty spells. That's okay. Hey, there's the first level of piety. You and your allies can gain power from killing the unholy and evil. And we get a divine halo now. This divine halo will um, quickly increase. Brand weapon. Should we try to rebrand the executioner's axe? That's um, risky because electricity is a good brand. There are even nicer brands. We can now get a divine shield. Uh, yeah, so this halo is nice. It gives um, an accuracy bonus when fighting creatures inside it. Uh, can't go invisible and neither can whatever is inside the halo. And yeah, oh, it's a curse skull. Where's the curse skull? It's down there. It can torment. Uh, Take out the curse skull. Good. Got two brand weapon scrolls. Mm. So hungry. So I guess the wand of invisibility is now useless. <clears throat> Let's gamble with the brand weapon. Chopping. That's just extra damage, yeah. Let's try once more. Flaming. Okay. That's probably not ideal at this point, but. Um, Since a lot of stuff will be fire resistant. But okay, we gambled and it's not bad, you know. Piety is rising quickly. Um, get this divine shield. The staff, staff of energy it could actually be useful now or later. <clears throat> well, maybe not just for like. Like uh, casting blink now and then and stuff like that, you know. 
Yes, now we have the Cleansing Flame. This is an excellent ability. Which will be quite useful. used to be five levels now it's only three not sure if that changed in this version or the previous one but you can now summon a divine warrior yeah that's another one <clears throat> which can be very good enchant weapon I'll enchant my executioner's axe and why am I keeping this broad axe of flaming and we can't use this one I guess the shining one doesn't like draining so goodbye put this one on B not sure I'll ever use it, but okay, this is going well. <clears throat> oh. Here comes Okovaru's Wrath. Alright. Um. <laughs> it's a summoner. Yeah, we can deal with this. Kovaru and <clears throat> he confused me at the same time and for some reason we are silenced which probably is good because that means these guys cannot cast spells should probably cure the confusion and ow Ah, we got the final piety level of the Shining One. And we can now get a weapon of Holy Wrath. Um.
Um, <clears throat> we could, you know, this, uh, you can pray at an altar to have your weapon blessed, especially a demon weapon. We could get ourselves a demon whip. Yes. And we could take it to an altar of the shining one and it will turn into a holy scourge or whatever it's called. Um and that's not a bad idea actually because a demon whip is <clears throat> well it's maces and flails but it's one handed it's Quite good and quick. We would have to train maces and flails. Um, but since maces and flails cross trains with axes, we have quite a good skill already. We could also <clears throat> get this Executioner's Axe Blessed. Um, Demon Whip is one-handed, so we could use a nice shield with that one. I've had success with that before. In, at least in previous <coughs> earlier versions of the game. Um, a whole lot of skulls here. Kovaru sends forces. It's okay. And in <clears throat> in previous versions, this final level of the crypt used to have um, a good amount of loot. I guess we'll find out if that's changed. Well, that's a little bit of loot. <laughs> Ooh. These mirrors are quite cool, so let's take it. Oh, look at this level. <laughs> cool design. <clears throat> I'm rotting so let's just cure that. Okay, I'm flayed so let's do that.
Oh, come on. That's <clears throat> I understand you're angry, Okoru, but... <clears throat> Don't have to do this so often, dude. Don't think we even get experience from killing these guys, probably. Yeah, that felt strangely unrewarding. Servitor. Uh, these guys can be nasty, but <clears throat> he used to be an angel of the shining one, and uh, isn't anymore. Artifact ring, artifact chainmail. Let's identify the chainmail, it's probably not interesting. The ring. Well, int plus six. Could be useful for our spellcasting um, <coughs> plan. Yay! Cool, people are watching. Whoops. Um, not sure, int plus six. Guess I'll keep it. Oh! That's Jory. Unique. Unique um, vampire. Splat. The vampire's tooth we're not gonna use. Looks like a dagger, probably. Ooh, requirement. Eh. behind um okay <laughs> skull and bones um anything left one of digging you don't care okay that's it Oops. What do we acquire then? Always acquire armor or I could still use these better boots. Weapon armor. Hmm. No. Oh. It's crap. Oh. 
Oh no. Yeah, the Shining One doesn't like it when you attack helpless enemies. Um. Oh, we had int plus two and lost it. <laughs> we'll probably never be able to cost anything. Uh, go back to the dungeon. Um. I guess pandemonium is next. Yeah. Um anything we can leave behind I think we should take with us. Uh, so much so much crap. I think you have to wield the weapon you want to bless. Uh, yeah. It's already plus four. Okay, you don't have to wield it. That's changed, okay. Yes. There we go. <clears throat> That's a plus six sacred scourge. And let's use our... Buckler of Resistance. That's good. Um... Okay, now we should be fairly ready. Also, let's train maces and flails. Max out these. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. just go in whoops all 
right, so we are in the pandemonium. <clears throat> if you don't know, um, this place, uh, it's more or less infinite levels. Oh god, Brimstone Fiend. Torment. Ah, we can't run away. Yeah, there's more or less infinite levels here in the pandemonium. Um, and s four of them are special. Once you enter those four levels, you'll get a message about it. But um, once you enter that level, you have to get the rune or you will um, never get that rune again. Those floors will only be generated once. There's a pandemonium lord. Oh. And my god. My luck is extreme. If we are not killed by these shadow fiends. But this is the demonic rune. This one is generated randomly on the normal pandemonium levels. We found it on the first try. Uh. Oh, and Okawaru joins the party. <laughs> Ta da Nice. Okay, well, there's no reason to stay here, so let's go to a different. Oh, don't say this is the holy pandemonium. Oh, there's a lot of angels and stuff here. Is this holy? Pan. By holy pandemonium, I mean there's this special layout you sometimes run across here in pandemonium, and it's kind of full of angels instead of demons. Hmm. Yeah, this is holy pandemonium, so to speak. I guess my uh, I don't think the sacred scourge is very good. Doesn't really do much against these uh, these guys. Um, let's take off wield this.
Let's cure mutation. I'll drink that right away. Yes. Excellent. Got rid of all the mutations. Cure mutation potions. Okay. Seems mollified. I have no idea what that word even means. So, Exits. There's really no point in staying here uh, because there's no ruin or anything. Um, oh, fighting and armor are 27. So I guess we'll do this. Glowing hat. According to the wiki, there should be quite a um, huge amount of treasure to be found inside you know, this part, which is like the Shining One's fortress. For some reason, he has made a fortress in Pandemonium.
what's this? A seraph with a glowing pearl dragon armor. Sounds scary. Extremely dangerous. Smite. Hunting cry, injury bond. Smiting, healing, can summon holies and cleansing flame. Let's just uh, step away. Hello, Shining One. Sorry for invading your fortress, but well, I don't know. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> okay, loot. Fabulously ornate robe. Staff. Use this. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <clears throat> Ugh. Blinking. about the rest of this place. 
Well, why not? We're here. Identify, for example, this deck of cards. Summoning. Hmm. Seems like a good idea. Uh, I don't really need this cloak anymore. We should get a better cloak. Let's just, I don't know, drop whatever right now. Check out this. Slings? No. Artifact shield. Uh, just drop whatever. Uh, minus one resist attack plus two. Identify the teleport wand. Okay. Let's say level on. Pearl Dragon. Right, that's it for this level. Uh, oh, there's a gate out of here. Yeah. Go. Okay. Well, that's it for this video, and I'm getting a bit tired here, so I think I'll take a break and. Uh, but yeah, this is going really well. <laughs> Five runes now. Excellent. So thank you all for watching and goodbye for now.